magic happens here. It's the only way to really describe it. You get here and you have this feeling that you can't even describe and it's just, it's magic. The experience that a visitor can have is definitely an authentic Acadian experience. You get to live first hand the actual way we live today. It's unique. It's a culture that's still intact, which is hard to find uh, anywhere in the world. I love it. I love the people. Uh, I love the place. Uh, I love the spirit, uh, the culture, the music, the food. The music is wonderful. The food is great. The uh, scenery is beautiful. Yeah, I would recommend it. I had great expectations. It has far surpassed any expectations I could have had. We had so much fun. We're still smiling. We'll carry a little bit away in our hearts, I think. It's, we won't forget it for a long time. Everybody can be Acadian for a day, or a week, of course. <laughs> it doesn't matter to us. We want everybody here, and we're going to treat everyone like family. Hello, bonjour. My name's Olin. Really love to invite you to come visit us at the Acadian village in West Pomnico. Le village acadien ici en Pomnico vous donne une bonne expérience dans la vie acadienne. I'm an Acadian. Really proud of my heritage. And here's a place where you can set the clock back, relive the joyful life, the industrious life that the Acadians used to live in the early 1900s. You'll be able to see our people in costume doing the traditional chores, the work that our ancestors did back at that time. Uh, you'll see cooking and uh, knitting and sewing and making raw pie, which is a, an Acadian dish specific to this area. You get to go through what uh, our, our people used to go through in the 1920s. We, we still do the same basics as they used to do. A lot of the people who come here, they have either Acadian roots or interests in the Acadian culture. We have some folks here from England and other parts of the world who are just learning about the Acadian culture. It's seeing how the history of, the, of, of, of Nova Scotia, of, of, of how the area developed and, um, and what's important to, to people here. This would be a great place, definitely one of the stops to make, just to learn about the life on the ocean and the history. It's great that they've been able to preserve their history here. And uh, talking with one of the ladies, you know, tracking it back all the way to when they came across the pond. That's something, you know, a lot of people can't say. It's been great. It's definitely one of the stops, for sure. The museum is a homestead. So in the homestead, uh, we try to have the history of the Acadians. As the homestead would have been, it's a house that dates back to 1865. The museum is a place where we can preserve and teach the history of the Acadians. The research has lots of information. We have maps, we have old documents. We do have documents that trace back as far as the 1600s. And they were in Port Royal in 17. Right. Go and look for yeah. the first one. People yeah. that come and find their roots, they have a, a fulfillment. I enjoy this. I, uh, with each uh, with each clue that draws me to a, another answer, uh, an answer moving typically further back in time, uh, it just adds to the story. Very re rewarding. It's. Uh, brings people to tears sometimes that they have found something of their great-grandfather. It's uh, amazing. We're in the fast lane these days of life and uh, we don't take time to, to, to think about the past, the recent past or the distant past. And uh, I think it's important to, uh, to give you perspective and to give you a, a greater opportunity to establish your sense of values.